Hey guys, it's Silver Zero Breaks here, and today I got, oh wait, give me a second here. I just need to uh, quickly just unwrap this one here. I got the 2009-2010 SP Authentic Hobby Box. This is the second box I got here. Hopefully we'll have some uh, JT Future Watch Auto. So let the break begin. What's going on guys? It's Silver Zero Breaks here. Just want to say welcome back to my channel. And today, yes, I have the second box of the SP Authentic from 2009-2010. Now, if you've seen the first video there, it was pretty good, but I did not get a John Tavares Future Watch Auto. So I thought I'd give this one another go. Picked this up uh, from eBay once again. Um, not exactly an easy product to find, so hopefully this one will do the trick. Because if it's not in here, I'm not sure when I'll get another one. Uh, so fingers crossed, hopefully this will de uh, deliver some awesome results. But before I begin, let's go through the feature movie of the day. In this one, I got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now, I gotta say, this one is quite the interesting movie. Uh, visually, it's quite quite stunning for an animated film. Uh, it does have a unique style to it. Um, and the story itself is fantastic. It does uh, a great job incorporating the whole uh, multiverse of Spider-Man. And uh, it's a fun movie. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't had a chance. As for the feature card of the day, if you've seen my previous SPA uh, break, this is a fantastic poll. So this is a Future Watch auto patch of Carter Hart. And it's absolutely beautiful. I'm a huge fan of Carter Hart. Fantastic goaltender. And uh, this is a great pull. I know he doesn't play for my favorite team, but I certainly don't mind pulling that card. Especially if it looks that good. <laughs> so let the break begin with the 2009-2010 uh, SP Authentic. I'm setting my hopes up, so got a one touch ready to go. And I got the trusty knife to uh, get things started. Nothing like kicking off the month of June with a big bang. All right. Trying not to uh, destroy this box here. Okay. I assume this will be just like the last one where you have a random thick pack in the middle of it all. So maybe I'll save all the thick packs for later once again. I guess we'll have to see how it all goes. Randomly inserted thick packs. They're probably just full of decoys, but uh, who knows? Maybe another Future Watch Auto Patch. You never know how it goes. All right. Let's start from the right side today. And, and uh, hoping for some extra good luck here. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe out there. Uh, they're starting to loosen up the restrictions a little bit in Australia, so uh, we can at least dine out again, sort of. <laughs> uh, but I uh, hope you guys are all staying safe. I know everywhere has their own um, policies and into how things are going, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, this is the new normal. We'll have to slowly and gradually just ease our way back into our everyday lives. But anyway, kicking things off with Henrik Zetterberg. We got Mike Kimleri. And we have a future watch of Bobby Sanguinetti. This is not an auto, so that's all right because I don't really know who Bobby is. <laughs> All right, so that's our first feature watch there. We got uh, Marc-Andre Fleury and Phil the Thrill Kessel. On to pack number two. Uh, this did not rip cleanly, so there we go. Didn't want to damage the cards in there. All right, we got Josh Bailey, Pekka Rene, 
And we have Hollow Effects of Jeff Carter. Now, I think I recently watched um, Steve Dangle do the trade tree featuring Jeff Carter and uh, his brief tenure with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, that was actually quite the interesting trade tree because Columbus came out of that deal on the wrong end, of course, and then uh, decided to flip Jeff Carter again and also came out of the other deal on the wrong end too. So they lost two trades out of that. But anyway, um, just had Mike Ribeiro and Andre Markov. On to pack number three. They're not too difficult to open, but not easy either. We got Jason Pommelville in the Buffa Slug. We got uh, the King, Jason Spezza, Nick Lidstrom, and Bobby Lou. And that's the one thing I still haven't gotten used to is um, the older SP Authentic sets have just plain base set packs. All right. We have Chris Stewart, Ryan Getzlaff, Doug Waite, who was playing for the Ducks at one point, uh, Ryan Smith, and Vinny LeCavalier. Right. We have uh, Zach Parise, Devin Setaguchi, Ovi, Paul Korea. And Thomas Caverlay. Ooh, geez, a whole bunch of base packs right there. At least we haven't burned through our Future Watch autos yet. <laughs> All right, we have Chris Pronger, Sam Gagne, and an SP Essentials of Ovi. All right, so that's another insert there. Peter Mueller and Henrik Sedin. Okay, we have Chris Versteeg, Pavel Datsuk, Scotty Gomez, Mike Richards, and Jonathan Taves. So we've gone through a whole stack of cards and no future watch autos yet. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Saving the best for last, I guess. We got Ilya Kovalchuk, Kyle Okpozo, Anze Kopitar, Steve Mason, and Derek Roy. Wow, so many base packs in this. We got Ole Jokinen, Brian Little, Simon Gagne, Marion Gabrick, and Scott Niedemeyer. Gotta say, this uh, box is starting off very slow. I think the last time I opened this one, we uh, burned through the Future Watch autos pretty quickly. We got Joe Thornton, Simeon Vralamov, Nikolai Habibulin, or as I like to call him, the Bulin Wall, Dion Phaneuf, and Marty Turco. So many base packs. Where's all the inserts? <laughs> Where did they all go? We got Bobby Silver Ryan, Nathan Horton, and an SP Essentials of Nicholas Backstrom. So, two straight. SP Essentials of a Capitals player. That's pretty cool. Daniel Sidine and Patrick Marlowe. All right. We got Patrick Eliash, Danny Heatley, Carey Price, Alex Kovalev, and Mika Kiprasov. All right. Almost gone through two stacks and uh, no Future Watch Auto yet. Johan Franzen. We got Alfie. And a very nice hollow effects of Matt Duchesne. That's pretty cool. So we got our two hollow effects already. We got Jason Arden and Patrick Berglund. It'll be interesting if all the Future Watch Autos are on the left side. Pretty unevenly packed, it seems. Uh, Jerome McGinley, Sid the Kid. All right, and we got our Future Watch Auto of Matt Bileski. He was a duck, and he uh, performed pretty well for the for the Ducks. 
And then uh, we decided not to pay him. So he went to Boston. Um, but anyway, um, that's our first Future Watch Auto. Not an entire bust, but uh, didn't exactly have the best NHL career in the long run. Anyway, uh, we have Zidane Ochara and Evgeny Malkin. So we got our one Future Watch Auto already. And they do guarantee three autographs in each box. So we still got a chance at two more. We got Shea Weber, Ryan Miller, Derek Broussard, Claude Giroux, and Drew Doughty. We got the Iron Man, Andrew Cogliano, Thomas Vanek, SP Essentials of Jonathan Taves. There we go. It's nice that the uh, SP Essentials are still numbered in the set. <laughs> we got Brad Richards and Paul Stasny. We got Trish, uh, Chris Drury, Alex Hemsky, Marty Berdour, Timmy Thomas, and Jeff Carter again. Hmm. All right. Shane Doan, Milan Hayduk, Cam Ward, Martin Havlat, and Patty 20 Cent Kane. We got Rick Nash, bitch. Luke Shen. Henrik Zetterberg again. Mike Modano. Jakob Voracek. Down to the last two thin packs. Still only one FWA. Mike Kemleri. Josh Bailey. And we have a non-autographed future watch of Ryan O'Mara. Hmm. All right. So the plain future watches aren't really that great. We got Eric Stahl and Miko Koivu. Last thin pack. Uh, might be the third card that's potentially auto. All right, we got Thomas Vokun, Mark Andre Fleury, Pekka Rene, Jason Palmerville. And a uh, uh, future watch auto of Ben uh, Ferrero. All right, not the greatest. So that's our two future watch autos so far. All right, JT, where are you at? Where are you at? This looks like a thick card. Okay, maybe I'll save this one for later. See that? Nah, let's focus. Focus. Eh, whatever. There's a thick card in there. Okay. So that means we'll go through the other two packs. First, we got Blake Wheeler, Mike Green, Steven Stamkos, Decoy, Rod Brindamore, and Marty St. Louis. Second thick pack, it'll be nice to have two packs in one box, but what are the chances? Nah. So we have Henrik Lundqvist, Chris Stewart, and SP Essentials of Vinny LeCavier. All right, not too bad. Decoy, another Phil the Thrill, and another Mike Ribeiro. Starting to see doubles in this one here. All right, so we'll save the uh, thick card for last. We've got Marion Hosa, Kerry Lennon, Mark Stahl, Nicholas Backstrom. Oh, we still got another card there. Nikolai Kalaman, formerly of the Leafs. Which way is this one going? Uh, it's Future Watch Patch. K. 
Can't even tell from the top of that. There's no logo on the helmet. Not the New York Islander I was after. <laughs> oh, I saw a bit of orange and I got my hopes up and then, nope. That was another fake out right there. <laughs> wow, that was a major tease. Such a major tease. I saw a bit of uh, orange and I'm like, oh, could it be JT? And then I saw a stash and I'm like, no, that's not it. <laughs> So there we go. That's our future auto patch. Um, so compared to the first box, this was actually much, much worse. Um, so let's quickly go through the uh, highlights of this box. We did get the hollow effects of Jeff Carter, followed by another hollow FX of Matt Duchesne. In terms of the SP Essential cards, we did hit uh, Ovi, Nicholas Backstrom. Jonathan Taves, and Vinny LaCave. As for the future watches, not exactly spectacular. We got these two fellas right there. Uh, as for the future watch autos, also not all that spectacular with these two fellas right here. And lastly, the future watch auto patch. The one that just really teased me <laughs> because it's a New York Islander, just not John Tavares. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's still a fun break. I love this product nonetheless. But yeah, this one's a dud. Hopefully another one will pop up soon and I'll definitely give it another go. But that's uh, SP Authentic, 2009-2010. I think I used up all my luck on that Carter Hart right there. So <laughs> that, that's it. There we go. Uh, let me know what you uh, think of this box in the comments down below. Um, future uh, SPA is coming out this week, so I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully there will be some good polls. I've got multiple boxes on the way. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing safe and you're uh, doing well. And uh, once you get a chance, follow me on Instagram at Silver Zero Breaks. I'll have more updates, teasers, um, maybe some random pictures every now and then. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.